when I told people I was interviewing you, um, a kind of consistent question they had, and there's no like delicate way to, to put it, you know, you look at the crocodile hunter, you look at grizzly man, um, they're dead. Um, <laughs> what, what, I guess the question is, why do you think it's different for you? Okay, so let me uh, counter that with just saying a few things. One is like, you know how many um, uh, free mountain climbers are dead? Lots. Oh, yeah. So what oh, makes oh, so what makes Alex, Alex Hanold think he's different? Significant people in the industry say, you know, if he continues doing it, most likely it ends not well. Okay. So then the next one I will say is you've interviewed Lewis Hamilton. And we know how many Formula One drivers have uh, passed away of, uh, you know, over the years. What makes him think that he's special, you know? Uh, and don't answer that because it's just a, it's just a question that any person who does something extreme, um, you're always going to get the normal person looking at them as if they're nuts, and they're going to go like, yeah, but Formula One drivers are nuts, MotoGP riders are nuts. Alex Hanold's are nuts. Kevin Richardson is nuts. And we don't look at it like that. So Steve Irwin didn't get killed by a crocodile. He got killed by a bloody stingray. In the last hundred years, maybe two or three people have died from stingrays. People swim with stingrays all the time. It was just bad luck. More people die um, from dogs per annum. More people die from being killed by cows per annum, from horses, horse riding. Would you not ride horses because people have been died from horses? It, it's a great possibility you could die riding a horse. We can even extrapolate it to driving in cars. You should be terrified getting into your car driving to uh, the airport because your chances of dying it are very, very high. Um, so we've been conditioned to believe that cars are okay because they are necessary evil. Whereas we don't think it's okay to do what I do because we feel it's not totally necessary. You see what I'm saying? So the, um, the bear guy, uh, um, Timothy Treadwell, he had no relationship with these bears. These bears were wild bears. And you were pushing, the fact that he did it for 12 seasons or something like that was incredible, actually. It's a mean, no mean feat. Um, but they weren't his Chinas. These were bears coming out of hibernation, cranky, grumpy, and hungry. So if you analyze anything, I mean, there's always an explanation. I mean, uh, the lions today don't just, they're not going to just snap. Um, and I suppose my wife understands that she would be the first one to say to me, you've got two kids. Why are you doing this? You know, but she also would be the first one to understand that if you told me to stop um, it would be like you cut a piece of my heart out because of what I do for them and what they get from it so as I said to you the evolution is not so much about me getting a kick out of working with lions it's about them getting a kick of what I provide for them um, on a daily weekly monthly, whatever basis. And so. maybe it's in part because of the elementary basic premise of the question, but I'm sure it's one you've gotten, you know, many times before. Does, does that question bother you? Which one? The, the, when am I going to die? Yeah, yeah, right. Well, are we all going to die at some point in time? So, you know, I'd rather die living than die not living because I would die if you took my life away from me in that sense, you know? So, um, I just see it so much with people. They're living empty, unfulfilled lives um, because they're too scared to live, because they're too worried about living. You know, we're, we want to wrap everyone in cotton wool and stick them in the cupboard that we're too scared to live. I mean, we're too scared to uh, walk through the bush and just appreciate nature because we're scared of being bitten by a snake and we're scared of uh, wasps and bees and, you know, everything else that can kill us. There's lots of things that can kill us.